This is a follow-up to a previous visualization video where I talked about the surface patchwork approach. If you haven't, do watch that video so that the steps taken here will make more sense. I will start with a picture of the model looking from the right. Start a sketch on the right plane. And trace the outline as follows. It is not necessary to import this picture to follow along. Just a sketch of the rough shape will do. As mentioned in the previous video, we will not be tracing the full external outline, but rather a portion of it. For those following without a picture, do make sure that you have the same number of vertices and also make sure that this line is vertical. Extrude this profile symmetrically. I'm going to make this shape more interesting by drafting these two faces. Go to Modify, Draft. Select this face to define a pull direction and select these two faces to be drafted. I shall add a 5 degree draft. Next, add fillers to these edges. These fillers will play an important role when it comes to lofting, as we shall see later. Since we are going to create a patchwork of surfaces, we need to convert this solid body into a surface body. Activate the Surface tab. Control select these faces and simply press the delete key. This will delete the surfaces and the solid body becomes a hollow surface body. We will proceed to build this surface. Start a sketch on the right plane. Make sure that this line is vertical. Also, we want to align these two pairs of points horizontally. We can either align them using the horizontal constraint or draw a line between them and add a horizontal constraint to that line. For the line at the top, let it extend beyond what is required and we will trim that later. Make sure that the Surface tab is still active. Go to Create, Extrude. And extrude the surface out symmetrically. Just make sure to extend the surface until it fully encompasses the existing body. Add a fillet to this corner of the surface. To add a fillet to a surface body, you can use the same fillet command as you would for a solid. The purpose of this fillet is to have matching vertices with this edge of the previous surface body here. In order to trim this surface to get this final surface, we have to do it in two stages, one from the front and one from the top. Let's perform a sketch on this face. Let's draw a vertical center line for mirroring from the origin. We want to project this edge onto the sketch plane. Press P for project. When you hover over the edge, you can see a preview. Select and hit OK. Draw the rest of the lines as shown. Use the left click and drag method to drag out a tangent arc. Continue with a line that is tangent to the arc and the line at the top edge. Mirror the entities. Go to Modify, Split Face. For faces to split, select these three faces. 
For splitting tool, click on the select box and select the sketch lines. We can only do this for half of the sketch, as the command does not allow for selection of separate sketch entities. Repeat this for the other side. In this case, be sure to select these three faces as the faces to split. We shall create a sketch on the top face. Again, use this sketch to perform a split face. Make sure that the surface tab is active. Control select these faces and delete. Let's compare the chain of edges on this surface body and a chain of edges on this surface body. You can see that each vertex has a counterpart. This is not absolutely necessary, but it does help with creating a better quality lofted surface. Since this model has a plane of symmetry along the right plane, we will create a loft on one side and mirror it. We need to create a series of profiles for the loft. We shall define this as a starting profile. Let's create a sketch on the right plane. This starting profile is essentially a straight line that joins these two edges. To create anchor points for the line, go to Create, Project Include, Intersect. If we hover over this edge, you will see a preview of the projected point in red. Click here to project that point. Do the same for this edge. These are the points where the edges intersect with the sketch plane. Join these two points with a line. We can draw the rest of the profiles without actually leaving the current sketch. Turn on 3D Sketch. Turning this on will allow you to sketch outside of the sketch plane. Use the line tool to join the corresponding vertices. Make sure to snap the line properly to the vertices by looking out for the snapping square icon before clicking. We will sketch in this line also, even though it is not part of the loft. We will make use of it to perform a patch later. Next, go to Create, Loft. Select the profile sequentially. Click on the select box for rails. Uncheck the chain selection option and proceed to select this chain of edges. This will form the first rail. Click on the add option to add a second rail and proceed to select this chain of edges. For the continuity option, leave both as connected, as we want an angular look to our design, somewhat like a chamfer. Next, go to Create, Patch. Uncheck the chaining option, and select these edges to create a patch surface. Go to Create, Mirror. Select Bodies as the type and select the surface bodies to mirror. 
select the right plane as a mirror plane. For operation, select new body. The body is not fully enclosed just yet. There is still an opening at the bottom. Just use the patch command to patch this up. This is now a fully enclosed surface body. To convert this into a solid, go to Modify, Stitch. Select all the surface bodies and stitch them into one single solid. 